Hello and welcome to another episode of CVTV. My name is Carlos and I'll be your host. Today, we'll show you how to attach and configure your 0 to 10 volt variable speed pump to the Hydro's Wave engine. Many popular pumps from brands like Tunsi, Reef Octopus, and Abyss have external controllers equipped with a 0 to 10 volt port that allows them to connect to a third party controller. You can now take advantage of all the native flow modes and presets that the Wave Engine has to offer without any limitations or complicated programming. Here's what you will need to get started. A pump compatible with a 0 to 10 volt and a 3.5 mm adapter. Hydro's 0 to 10 volt adapter cable. If you have a Tunsi or Abyss pump, you will also need an additional adapter which can be found at CoralView.com. The 0 to 10 volt cable has four different connectors and each connector is assigned to an output on the Wave engine. Black is output 1, brown is output 2, red is output 3, and orange is output 4. Find the 0 to 10 volt connection port on your pump's controller and connect one of the four ends of the Hydro 0 to 10 volt adapter cable. If your pump's input jack is not a 3.5 mm stereo jack, contact us at coralview.com forward slash support and inquire about a special adapter for your pump's connection jack. Connect the Hydro's 0 to 10 volt adapter cable to the 0 to 10 volt output on your wave engine. Start the Hydro's app and go to the main menu. To do this, tap on the three horizontal bars on the upper left hand corner. Select pumps. Tap on the plus symbol on the bottom right. Now type in the name of your new pump and hit create. Here's an overview of the pumps screen. Let's go over each of the options so we understand them completely. Type allows you to select the model of your flow pump. In this case, regardless of the brand, select 0 to 10 volt. Group number. Unlike other controllers, the Wave Engine works primarily with groups. A group is a set of pumps that works together and shares a common preset and trigger. Why is this better? By attaching a configuration to a group instead of individual pumps, if you need to make a change to the flow pattern, you only make the change once and it'll affect the pumps in the group instead of having to go through every individual pump and duplicate the changes multiple times. Since this is our first time setting up the Wave Engine, let's assign our pump to Group 1. Position. The Hydros app allows you to run your pump in four different locations. Same end, opposite end, back, and front. The same end means your flow pumps will do exactly as each other. Opposite end means the power hands will do the opposite of same end pumps. Back and front will only work if the pattern has a four pump configuration, such as LPS mode, nutrient export, ocean swell, random, and SPS reef. In all other flow modes, back is the same as the same end, and front is the same as opposite end. For our first pump, let's assign it to the same end. Speed range. It is the master speed control for your pump and it will dictate the overall max and min speed of your pump. Think of this as a governor. If you create a flow pattern that runs the pump in the 1 to 100 speed range, but the master flow pump is set to 25 to 75%, then 1% on the flow pattern would run the pump at an actual 25%, and 100 on the flow pattern would run it at an actual 75%. Voltage range. It allows you to fine tune the wave engine output voltage to match the required one of your 0 to 10 volt pump. If your pump runs at a range between 2 and 3.5 volts, you can select the scope here to control the pump entirely. 0 to 10 volt output. It is the cable end you use to connect the pump to the wave engine physically. If you use the black end, select direct output 1. If you use brown, then select 2, red, select 3, and orange, select number 4. Now tap on the yellow band at the bottom of the screen to upload your changes to the cloud and the Wave Engine. Well, that's our video. If you have any questions or issues connecting your pump to the Wave Engine, visit our support portal at coralview.com forward slash support and our experts will be happy to help. 
Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all the latest aquarium news, reviews, and how-tos. You can also find Coral View on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow us and we'll follow you back. Thank you again for watching and see you next time.